Hey y'all, welcome to another video from Reckonow.com. So we're picking up where we left off making the Kydex strip heater, and we're going to use it to make a bow holder that was inspired by G2 Outdoors. This bow holder will be used for hanging your bow uh, on an accessory strap in your tree stand. So the first thing you need to do is just score one and a half inch section of uh, Kydex and just snap that off. And then you're going to cut off a five inch section. Hang on to the seven inch section because we're going to use it when we make a quiver holder. So taper the edge using a multi-tool. This is going to be the side that slides into the accessory strap. So you want it to be narrow enough that it's easy to hang there once you're in the tree. Then mark a two inch section. I just lightly score it and use your strip heater to heat up uh, that line. And then you're going to make a bend using the three quarter inch plywood. Just hold it there in place, and as it cools off, it will uh, stay permanently. So depending on the clearance you need, you just want to make sure you have enough of a bend. Uh, three quarters of an inch was plenty for me, so I just used the plywood to make the second bend, and I'm going to heat it up and just bend the other section up, and I'll have a hook. So just wait for it to sag, and then bend it up and hold it in place. So once that hook is solid, you're going to want to sand it down. Um, I neglected to do this the first time, and it works much better once it's smooth. When it has rough, rough edges, it just doesn't want to slide through the accessory strap. So sand down all the edges till it's smooth, and then drill your first hole. I'm drilling the hole based on just really eyeballing it where it's going to attach to my bow. The first hole doesn't matter as much, but the second hole is key. If you don't get the right positioning, you can drill a little bit bigger hole and that way it'll slide around a little bit. And this is the finished product. You have this Kydex holder, it's really light, it can stay on the bow, and it slides right into the accessory strap. So again, thanks to G2 Outdoors for the idea and I uh, hope the instructions help.